Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of The Chess of Obscurity. This time we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. This comes from my hacks collection, and, well, I do believe a little correction is in order about this game. In fact, you've seen me play before twice. You've seen me play the Japanese version of it, and you've seen me play the English version of it. And now it's time to show off the hack version of it, in which it was really going to be what it should have been. And that title is... Rough World, a.k.a. Journey to Silius, a.k.a. <coughs> The Terminator! Yes, believe it or not, for those who don't know, the Terminator was supposed to be Journey to Silius. Well, someone managed to make a hack of Journey to Silius and called it what it really was called The Terminator. Now, how does it stack up like the, um, original? Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? And my save stays up. Ready? Los Angeles, 2029 AD. The machines rose from the ashes of the nuclear fire. Their war to exterminate mankind had raged for decades. But the final battle would not be fought in the future. would be fought in our present. Tonight. And you know what? It actually works. This is supposedly Cal Reese. See, what they did was, instead of you playing as Jay, you're actually playing as the main character from the Terminator, Cal Reese. And of course, just like the original, believe it or not, this is by far the strongest weapon you will ever have in the tank. I mean, after all, yeah, I'm an assault rifle, so therefore, a high-powered assault rifle means a lot of bank for your money. So 
So a lot of things that have changes. Um, well, as you will see, they have changed up on not only the um, the robot designs, but how they look as well as the bosses. And as you can tell, they changed up on this boss because remember, he used to be a chopper. Same enemy, just different design. There's your difference right there. They made Terminators. See, this is one of the games that is basically a proper hack. If you're going to, if you're going to do it right, you know, don't half-ass it. I've seen many of Dr. No Game's videos to know that when you do a hack, it's not high quality hack. Or quality hack. I've seen Ryu do hacks before. And you know, there's some games that are just outright shit. Especially done, especially done for Mega Man title. Now, I mean, the last hack I ever played was a Blaster Master hack. Which, I've heard from the creator that it was updated recently. And you know what? To this day, um, she still get props for it. Because the one thing you want to do is, if you're a good hacker, And somebody spot checks you on something that seems wrong about the hack you made. Yeah, fix it. Update it. You know, make sure the content stays fresh. Because it just it just makes sense, you know. Like I said, I have no, I have no qualms with um hacks as long as they're done the right way. You know, no, no sort of collision issues or anything like that. But this is a good hack, though. And really, this is what should have been done for um, the original.
like the original meaning rap world, he was seen as a soldier. The character sprite was actually seen as a soldier. See, look at this. Even the mid-boss looks really good. It looks better than it was in the original. Because it was just a headless robot. Here it actually looks like, you know, a larger version of the T-1000. One of the later bosses, I believe it's either stage 3 or stage 4, has a really nice um, overhaul in books. Oh, Sunsoft, you never fail on these kind of tracks. Like the handgun? As I said before, the handgun is your strongest weapon in the game. Or at least in this hack, anyway. I mean, I do love anything coming from Sunsoft. That's one. Of, that's one of the back in the day kind of the, the one company I feel back in the day is proper to use. Even now, with um the remake of, or rather not the remake, but the continuation of Metafight, aka Blast Master. They did right by that. The Blaster Master was um, a rather great series. One of the few titles that basically spawned a novel and and the later games are inspired by said novel. The plot, anyway. Let's just say that the handgun that um, Kyle here carries is a magnet. Let's just imagine that for a moment. He's going around... ...using whatever weapons suit him for the job he's taking. And he's going through Skynet. I mean, that, this is what it really is. He's actually infiltrating Skynet.
It looks more like Skynet than the actual Skynet we've seen in the movies. Now we're finding the exoskeletons. So it does make sense. I mean, the only thing I feel that the original Journey to Silius, a rap roll, just lacked was a proper ending. You just had a textless screen. This one, when I played it, actually had an ending that made sense. And you know, I look, you know, I look at little things like that, like, okay, so what happened? And being being in the work of, you know, story, you know, building stories and whatnot, that's the one thing I, I look at. I don't just play a game and just say, oh, well, see, this game is this, this game is that. No, I look at something other than that. I mean, if I'm playing a hack, I'm just going to look at it and say, you know what, this is good. This is what, this is what should have happened in the original, but they didn't. after this is the one I'm talking about. It's like real impressive. Especially with a ball design. believer that there are different versions of Steam 1000. Now, as far as the franchise goes, I feel the Terminator franchise as a whole is getting tired out. It's like, okay, after Judgment Day, it is Flat out lost just all its steam right after Judgment Day. That's why I honestly feel it, it just lost steam right after T2 because all of the hype was into T2 more than um, any other movie 
in the franchise. The Dark Fate got very little. And Rise of Machines, like, was basically non existent. I mean, that's why I was a girl. It's just, like, <laughs> it's a franchise that should have died right after two. I mean, okay, we got we got the picture. This one boy will be the savior of humanity as soon as he grew up. Once he learned of his destiny, okay, he know he know what to do. I always had this issue just getting here. Just because of those Medusa heads that just kept doing that. And the whole trick with trick with that was just keep moving. Just tank a hit and just keep moving. Even when I played, you know, the original in my spare time. That was the only thing I, I just worried the hell out of. Just like... Like you had... Like, you see, you saw these Medusa heads just show up. Every time, one hit, they screw you up. I like the fact that when you off-screen some enemies, they just don't come back. But as I said before about the Terminator franchise, it's been dead for years. If you haven't made anything past the second movie, and it really hasn't 
grab audiences' attention, it's a dead franchise. I would say most of anything these days is a dead franchise. If you're not doing the same thing like you did the, the first time, then you're pretty much dead at this point. Like, say, Simpsons. Simpsons has been going on for, I don't know how long, since the 80s? And it started on Tracy Ullman. That tells you something. You've lost talent over the years. I mean, shit, you lost Marshall Wallace. In the mid, um, 2010s? It just isn't the same without certain people around, you know? It's like, say, Transformers. See, this is the design I'm talking about. This is a really awesome design. Like, if you saw the original... And this design is real nice. But as I stated before, yeah. The Simpsons is one of those franchises that stayed around for a very long time. And now it has went into rerun territory. friend of mine on Facebook that says, you know, Simpsons should really just die. I'm inclined to agree with him. It's like, I hardly watch animated comedies now because it, it's hard to actually like, you know, to get into good animated comedies. Dare I say that, you know, even working designs have better comic material, and they did the best they could by making in-game jokes about pop culture. But certain shows like Family Guy, South Park, The Simpsons, they get played out. They really do. It, get, it gets played out so fast, it makes no damn sense. And then there's the final stage. Because we all know the final stage. But I think the most important thing to note of here is that going back to the the hack itself? This is a good hack. I mean, it really is a good hack. It It's not bad. It's actually good. I mean, what they what has been done here is what most people who want to enhance the game should try to do is make it something different. Make it something more original. Something more close to the source as possible. Now as far as challenges and whatnot are concerned, that's a whole different thing. But as far as looks, 
you know, quality. That's all I ask. Just do some quality. Don't just like, eh, I'll just, you know, slap this over to slap, you know, slap here, slap there, slap, 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 slap. That's all you're doing. Just slap, 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 but you're not putting any quality into it. And like I said, I've seen many a hack being done by other users on YouTube. And the only two I've seen that have played less than quality hacks are Ryu and Dr. No Game. <laughs> I mean, I've seen Noofy Bonga, I haven't seen him do a hack and like shit. In like months or maybe a couple of years or so? I don't know. I mean, he has that on Twitch and YouTube, but you know. I don't know, maybe it's just me because I don't normally play hacks. And that's okay though, because like I said, I like variety. I don't like to just say, oh, hey. You know, this is what you're supposed to do. using a safe state here. That's the reason. Because you're supposed to ride these things, but the thing is, your character is so damn slow. That's the reason. why I use a speed cheat in order to make those jumps, because since the character runs that slow, it's like, you know, that's why I use that for. Just to get to here, 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 and get all the way to the rest of the stage. That is probably the most daunting thing, because your character is sort of like, like this. So, one moment. This should help. Or not. If I don't make the jump. If I don't make the jump.
This has always been a problem. Just when you get to that last part. That bullshit part right there. I know I made that jump game. This will take me a while. I had to use a speed jump and a speed boost cheat in order to get through this. I don't play this. I don't play this normal one. God damn it! I gotta do this shit again. Did that shit again? Why did you? And you see why you say sit. Yeah, this is the last thing you gotta deal with. Just like in the original game. As I said, stay before, but certain franchises, they just seem to die after knowing that, eh? People tend to get bored with the same thing. And as I mentioned, like, with certain franchises, like, Simpsons, South Park, Family Guy. So you gotta know when you, you gotta know when it has to stop. You know. The hell, even Will and Grace actually ended after what six or seven seasons? I don't know. I don't even follow that show. I mean, it's it's a funny thing because. Well, you know, there are certain shows on NBC that just tend to think they're funny, but not funny. I mean, I grew up from I grew up from the old school, you know. When you're actually, when you know there's funny, you can tell it, it it's a good show. It's just not funny. It's just not funny. I mean, it's funny when it first starts, but, you know, after a while, when they get to poking fun at people, it's just not funny anymore. And if all of their humor is just basically poking fun, you know, you, you kind of lost the audience right there. It's like, oh, yeah, well, ha, 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 ha. It's 
like that, you know. And behold, the Terminator. Yeah, that is basically the final boss, the Terminator. A life-size Terminator. And that's all I was doing, it's just punching at you. You know what? It would have been nice if the actual ending just took the whole battle out into space. Then it would have been like Alien. Besides what I already got. With the Terminator destroyed, Sarah started her new life. Reese was dead, but lived on in the form of her unborn son. What? John Connor would protect the human race as Reese had protected Sarah's life. Wait, what? But that's the actual ending that we should have got, but we never got because, oh hey, formless end, textless end. I still don't get that, but... Eh. That was The Terminator. A rom hack of Journey to Silius, a.k.a. Rap World. And I have to say, this is much better than the version, the, the Terminator we got for every other console that came out. From NES all the way to Genesis, you know. So join me next time when I have something else for the Chest of Obscurity. Stay tuned for more great content on this channel, as this game was indeed presented by Suntalked. I'll see you next time with more great content on the Chest of Obscurity. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.